In 2012, when Bishop Brewer began his episcopacy, he had a vision to raise ordained people to serve the whole church as well as our diocese parishes here. He had a vision to build relationships, not only with the people seeking ordination, but also those who had come along beside him to serve those people. He established the Timothy Fund to help seminarians financially. He also created the position called the Canon for Vocation, which was a person who would help those coming through the process and also seek out people Bishop Brewer was seeking. My relationship with him thrived primarily with the Commission on Ministry where I served. During the process, Bishop Brewer attended all of our meetings. We would have four a year, plus another two each during the year. For now, he has attended probably 55 meetings. He has achieved his goal by looking for people of different ethnicities. He's looked for non-whites. He's looked for women to step forward and lead in the parishes. Right now, we have 39 people in our discernment process and at the time he retires, there will probably be 200 people he has ordained. You might say, well, what do these numbers mean? Well, what they do mean is compared to other dioceses around the Southeast United States, it's tremendous. Those dioceses might have 10 people in the process while we have 39. And of the 39, over a third are women, over 15% are non-white, and they work to serve the people and the communities in which we live. Thank you for your service to our Lord, to our diocese, and for our friendship. And I say to you, as you go into your retirement, find time to read other books. Not all the same. I recommend one that is about another king who also is from Mississippi, and I think you will enjoy this book right here or one similar. Happy retirement.